Why are they doing this? There have been many proposals for changing the New Zealand flag. One reason being because the Australian and New Zealand flag is very similar design. For example, in the year 1984, on his visit to Ottawa, capital of Canada, Australian Prime Minister Bob Hawke was welcomed by flags depicting four stars in the shape of the Southern Cross found on New Zealand's flag, instead of the Australian six-pointed Commonwealth star that are placed on their honoured flag. Similar incidents have occurred with New Zealand's Prime Minister, John Key, sitting under the Australian flag in many international meetings. This is due to the confusion of many as both flags have the Union Jack with a blue background and two stars. The only changes are to do with the colour, shape and position of the star. It is said that the New Zealand flag being a defaced blue ensign means that the country is part of the United Kingdom, a British country. This is false as New Zealand is a democratic society. The flag does not show any representation of the Maori population of New Zealand, no Maori emblem on the flag, excluding the relevance of the Treaty of Maipan resembling peace between Pakia and Maori. While many people, the major groups in populated areas being Auckland, Wellington and Parliament of New Zealand are for changing the flag, others are against the issue as they believe the flag fully represents their country and what they are born with should not be changed or taken away from them. For the topic, author C.K. Steve quoted, I am keen that we retain our historical connection to what used to be the mother country, but it's important that it should be on a basis of equality. For that reason, I think we need our own symbols of identity without colonial overtones. The government and parliament are playing a huge role in this as well. In October 2014, Prime Minister John Key announced a two-stage referendum to see from the community their thoughts on what the new flag would look like and if the best design is better than the existing flag. The input of design started in early 2015 and will continue through to 2016. This solution benefits many of New Zealand as the people against the change can see what the other choice is, hence giving more support to their regions. Um, I can't say I really have a, a strong opinion on the flag, to be honest. I don't really like the silver fern because it just, it's like just saying we are the All Blacks, that's all we are. But we have our own country and we're not just one sports team. Well, it's got so much history behind it. I think it's of, of significance to a lot of older New Zealanders, especially those who, who fought uh, in wars and uh, the families of those who died under, the, under that flag. And I, I'm just not convinced by the Prime Minister's argument. Oh, I like it. I quite like it, yeah. It looks quite cool, yeah. I wouldn't change it, to be honest. So if we change the flag, we might also have to change the national anthem. How would the new national anthem go? I'm all about the base, about the base, no trouble. I can imagine all the um, soldiers in Anzac. <laughs> I'm all about, about the base, about the base, no, no treble. treble. <laughs>